What up folks, welcome back to Ultra Zell Toys and today I have a review of the Star Wars Black Series Archive Collection Bosk and IG-88. Alright my zillions, kicking off the Star Wars Black Series Archive line. This is a line of reissues. We have Bosk and IG-88 along with Boba Fett and uh, Rebel Pilot Luke. Uh, I do not have those in hand yet i will definitely be getting the boba fett i am on the fence about rebel luke kind of because i might be taking a long break from star wars black series we shall see how it goes um it is and i have said this uh i said this on the repack podcast best of 2018 um episode that this was my favorite line of last year to collect, uh, and there's no doubt about it. They, the digital face sculpts uh, were a game changer, and I felt like they upped their game all around. Um, but I'm really happy to get these two bounty hunters because uh, they've. It was great to, of them to start out the line with the bounty hunters because we've recently gotten the rest of them, and we will look at them all later on. Uh, Boba Fett's the only one I really need, and I say really need because I have a. Uh, <laughs> I have a knockoff Boba Fett Black Series that's been the stand-in in my collection for these guys. Um, so I'm looking forward to getting that one. And I will be getting it soon. It is in my BBTS. I haven't found it in store yet, but we shall see. I feel like because Boba Fett's like one of my favorite characters in line, it's probably a good one to you know, go on hiatus or whatever I'm doing with. But, you know, that's variable. We shall see. You know, I uh, reserve the right to get any figure I want down the line. <laughs> but let's keep the focus on IG-88 and Bosk here. Two very cool bounty hunters. So let's take them off here and... Well, I'm not going to actually take them off here, am I? I am just going to start taking a look at these guys. Let's do it. Looking at Bosk first, he comes with his really nice blaster rifle. Uh, it's just done in black, but it's a matte black and I do dig that. It's got a really good sculpt, and it's got this nice strap with a little bit of a silver little little hook. hook? Little thing here. You know, the thing. It's a thing, guys. It's a thing that holds the strap together. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's on there, uh, and I, I do appreciate that. And it goes into his hands. All right, uh, you're going to have to kind of finagle it in because he's got weird hands. But otherwise, he holds it pretty well, and you could put it on his back as well so there you go with that now the figure i i do dig it uh i think one thing they, they could have done is uh add some like wash to this guy a little bit of a wash on the yellow and the and the uh white here would have been nice made him a little bit dirty he should be dirty um i i feel like at least uh, because they did do some, you know, they, a little bit of a different deco on IG-88. So I'm surprised that they didn't add a little bit to this guy. Uh, from what I've seen, it looks pretty much the same. Um, he's got those little little things here, little symbol thingies, whatever they are. A little logo, a little patch. Uh, and then, you know, on top here, you got a lot of nice detail. You know, all done in silver. That is good. I really dig that. Very nicely done. Uh, this is like a little washboard here, and that looks good. All the little tubings coming out from here. You know, it's, it's soft plastic, but it works. It looks good. He's like a pilot uniform, you know. Um, here you got a nice big red tube going through his back, and that looks pretty cool. Do they dig it? Got some more workings here on his legs, some more sculpt there so that's pretty good what i would guess are some sort of like gas grenades light like grenades maybe going uh around his his legs here and that looks pretty cool uh and you know we'll start looking at his texture uh at his feet here there is a wash here which is good that is nice i do like it uh on a skin tone that is pretty cool a little little horns on his back here of his legs. I like this guy. He's a little draconian guy. Very cool. Uh, like you know, if you ever read Dragon Lines, I feel like this dude uh, comes right out of there. Uh, his feet look very nice. Like I said, toes look good. I dig the little 
nails and stuff on his hands. Same thing going on. Looks good. Scaly, nice, nicely done. Both hands look really good. Um, there is some paint mess up here, but that's kind of forgivable because it's in the joint. You see that? Yeah, not much you can do there. It's gonna get chipped. This one is fine though. <laughs> so yeah, maybe I can say something about that, you know? And the head sculpt, before we get to the head sculpt actually, right here, this little hel you know, helmet, uh, where a helmet would pop into. Uh, this red looks good, same as here, so nice color matching and stuff, so I dig it. I think it looks cool. Never dug his proportions though. I always, I never really liked his long arms and stuff, but uh, he's fine. As a figure, it looks good. This looks like a little bit of a mess up here. I'm not sure if it is, but eh. Uh, it's not bothering. The head sculpt I do like. It's very nice. His mouth looks really good. Tongue in there is, is excellent. And then you got his nostrils all sculpted well. His whole head is sculpted very, very well. The eyes on this guy are, are fine. Um, orange, black pupils. I feel like this pupil is possibly faced a little bit, placed a little bit too far out. Because of his alien nature, I don't really mind it too much. The mouth looks good. I really dig it, actually. The tongue inside, it looks really cool. Um, yeah, it's nice. He's got little ears. Really good head sculpt. I, I dig it. Articulation. Um, I don't think this is an articulation point per se. I don't think there's an actual hinge in here, but you can move it closed. It's not going to stay, but you can um, because it is a separate piece. So, but there you go with that. You got a hinge, swivel at the shoulder, single jointed elbow with a little swivel action, hinge, swivel, swivel, of course, up here, the diaphragm. Not a lot of range of motion there. Splits that much, kick forward, kick back, swivel at the thigh, double jointed knee, works like so boot cut or bare leg cut hinge rocker at the foot so pretty good for mr bosk looking at ig88 he comes with uh this long rifle here which is cool very machine gunny good sculpt as well as this blaster, both are, am I wrong in thinking they're both star, uh, Stormtrooper blasters of some sort? Both of these things? All right, I'm, I'm, am I wrong there? I'm pretty sure. I don't have one handy, but, uh, and there goes one gun. Um, but that's what I think. And to place it in his hand, a little, little hole there. So you wanna just kind of put it there and there's a little peg here. And you get that right on the peg, like so. The other gun has two holes in it with two little pegs here. And works the same way, just pop it in. And now he could blast you. IG-88 also comes with this really cool like short axe thing um, which I really like. It looks really worn down. It's like cracked on the bottom. Um, there's little like pieces, flex missing here. I, it looks good. Um, it's one where like if it's paint mess ups I can't tell um, and that's fine. Uh, this one I don't know how to get it into his hand at all. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not really sure. I don't see any holes. I don't feel any holes in it. There's a little peg here that I would assume would have to go in somewhere. I'll take a look at it in a second. Um, but this would slide into his back for a easy hold there. Did some research. There's not one thing you can do with this uh, that I can 
<laughs> I can see. Um, I haven't seen anybody cover that. So let's get back to it. The one last thing I want to show you uh, with the weapons is uh, this can go right in his back and it stays very, very nice. So there you go. Taking a look further at IG-88, he also does have uh, this strap on his back, which we just saw. That looks pretty cool. Uh, and I do like the rest of it, all silver on black. Really nice sculpt. So very nicely done. The sculpt on this guy overall is pretty nice. I've wanted to get this for quite a while, and I am very happy with it. It looks very nicely done. They did change the coloring here. It's got a nice... Um, gunmetal but with like some like bronzing and golding i don't know exactly what to call it but uh beautiful beautiful finish i really dig it it has a nice shine to it um i know there's light on here right now but like it it, it just it does take that light very nicely uh, and you can actually tell what all the different like shades are going really nice i love the red in his head i love that it's within his head like on, on another level if you can see that that is cool. Very nicely done there. Good sculpt work throughout here. I dig it. The arms are sculpted well. Um, so such an odd design. Such an odd design. But like, you know, especially it, it's it's ingenious making this a bounty hunter because it's kind of scary uh, in a way. So I, I dig that. I've always dug that about IG88. Uh, I really like it. <laughs> now he's got some tubing here on his legs so watch out there they're soft plastic I feel like they can possibly break but they do look really good on the back more like um, like pipes here or whatever uh, um, going on there and that's pretty cool sculpt work is nice throughout really good all the way down to his feet which I like he's very Tin Man ish you know like this is the Tin Man for me um, I, I, I dig it. I dig it. It's pretty nice. The one thing I will say though, it is um, for sure too small. Like IG-88 in the movie, he's, he's huge. Um, I mean, he's standing on a platform below everybody else just to be kind of on level with everyone. So I wish they gave us a bigger figure kind of in the range of one like their Chewbacca's. Um, and I hope at one point maybe we'll get that. And I would be curious to see like what a figure arts would do with this kind of design uh, with articulation and height and all that. So I I'll be on the lookout for that. I feel like at some point we might get something like that from, a from a an import company. Articulation on a G88 is kind of surprising. Um, head, for, for what it is, is on a swivel here. And then you got this you can see the ratchets right here in his chest. It could go down all the way. <laughs> and goes back pretty far, which is very nice. That's the only thing you get in there. Um, the legs, unfortunately, don't have any outward motion at all. So it's just a classic swivel. Uh, now, I figured they just... I, I'm thinking they just figured um, the robot would never do this. But man, what I give for a little hinge right here so we could spread them out. And do a little bit of that's the articulation that's really give me that put some articulation right in his hips so I could give us some outward motion I'd be very happy swivel just doesn't work you know you got a knee joint here and you got a rotation up in there so there you go with that hey you get that and then the foot is on a um, just a hinge so but it does rotate also at the at the ankle so doesn't uh, give you ankle pivot because they again they figured why does he need it um, but he does he does he does he does need that and I wish we would have gotten it now the arms are the surprising part I really like him you got a swivel first of foremost and then you got a hinge a nice hinge <laughs> that's surprising and good so really really nice uh, articulation in his shoulder and he does have, there's a rubber piece here, which I didn't mention in the skull part. There's a rubber piece right there. Uh, and in that rubber piece, there's a hinge. How about that? Surprising. I was surprised. <laughs> I didn't think there was anything there. Uh, so 
that's very very nicely done and it does swivel in there so it's not like amazing articulation but like like his upper chest and arms are are pretty good for for this guy and for them right here give me that and i would have been super super happy but otherwise i'm pretty happy one last thing to mention before we do um slice comparisons he does have a little bit of a hard time standing you got to get him just right i didn't move my um my turntable here just because He's not gonna. He's not gonna stand up on the uh, the the fabric there that I'm using for the backdrop now. Um, so there you go on that. So be careful. He, even here, this is like takes a little finagling. For your size comparisons, here's a couple of uh, figure arts with uh, Ultraman X and Common Rider build. Here they are with a couple of kaiju, a couple of Transformers. And of course, the whole team here with uh, the Boba Fett standing back there, uh, <laughs> which I hope to get soon. I'm looking for it in store so I can save some bucks, but I do have it on pre-order at BBTS, and they already got their full case, so I'm guessing this week I'm going to get charged for it, and uh, I'm just going to get it, so yeah. There you go. There is what the team looks like, though. Now that I got these two here, so I can show you what they would look like. Not that they're a team, but don't we always consider them a team? We do, and they look good. Final thoughts on these guys. I am very happy to have them in the collection. That kind of supersedes um, any quirks that they may have. They are older figures, just redone. So I, I'm good with it. I'm very good with it. I'm very happy that Hasbro has decided to do this archive line. Um, my my continuation with Star Wars Black Series is up in the air right now. Definitely getting Boba Fett, and then we'll we'll uh, we'll talk. We'll talk about it. We'll see where the road takes us. But there's a lot to get this year. I've made some, uh, you know, making some decisions about you know my expenditures and where I want. You know, Hasbro themselves has a million things coming out, and I get a million other things as well. So. Yeah, but uh, I'm glad to get these guys before I say possibly <laughs> undone with the line, at least for now. Nothing is forever and nothing is 100% complete. You understand what I'm saying? That's how, what kind of collector I am. I am in and out, I bob and weave, and I get through it all. Alright guys, that is my review. I definitely dig them. I think they're worth it, even, you know, being older figures. They're just a lot of fun. Uh, and I think they're, they're cool. Uh, I think Hasbro did a good job here. Alright, so please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Until next time, peace out, peeps.